Hello, and welcome back to Harvest Moon, everybody. We are here on another festival day. Yay! So many of them. So today is the Firefly Festival, which takes place all day. So to keep in mind that you have to do your chores around the festival, or else it's going to be too late by the time that you're done. So I'm going to take care of all my chores first, and then we're going to go to Moonlight Beach and enjoy some fireflies. So I've gone ahead and I've already watered all of my crops and picked those up for the day. I need to go see my chicken. You can also see I have a letter, and I think this is the first letter on screen I'm showing that is just friend mail. Every once in a while when you become friends with somebody, they'll send you a letter. Just like, how are you doing, or something that is related to their profession, or, you know, basically like a small talk letter. It's, it's kind of funny that he sent me a letter, seeing as how, you know, he lives right there, but, um, you'll get those occasionally when people get usually to two hearts, they'll start to send you letters, and you'll get them periodically from different people, so that will be stored in the letter section of your bookcase. So I'm going to go feed my chicken, and then I'm going to go and see the Harvest Goddess first. Because we do have enough notes to make an instrument, maybe even two instruments. I'm actually not sure the last time I went to go see her, because it's been a while. So, my character's still really tired though, apparently. She really does not take well to drinking. But I really gotta get that note for drinking 10 drinks and then she'll never have to drink again. Alright, so I'm not gonna bring my chicken outside just because I don't want to come back and put him back inside after the festival is over because I'm just too lazy. It's midnight so I'll want to get home and get a good night's sleep so that I'll be able to tackle the next day. And if it's raining the next day or something and I leave my chicken out then I risk my chicken getting sick which I don't want. Luckily at this point I still have a pretty small amount of chores to do. I just have that little bit of crops that I have to water. You know, I've only got one chicken. I am thinking of getting a second one. And then I can be on my merry little way here. But by all means, if you still have a lot you want to do in this day, just because, like I said, it takes up the entire day. If you do go trigger the festival, then by all means go ahead and do all of your chores and things like that, but keep in mind that you can't go into any of the stores and buy food or talk to people or give gifts or anything like that. Festival days are kind of nice though because it's kind of like a good working day, especially if, for example, you didn't put the item into the shipping box and you weren't able to actually participate in the festival. Well, then you have a, fr a basically a free working day in peace and quiet. I'm not gonna go and gather any herbs or anything right now just because I feel like that's a waste of time and I've made you guys watch me gather herbs enough as it is. So let's just go and visit the goddess here and get our next musical instrument. So we've got two of them so far. Congratulations! And same thing, blah blah blah. So it looks like I only have two instruments, which means that I haven't been here for quite a while. So we're going to be able to make a couple instruments, I think. So our first five is going to create our next instrument, which is a harp, it looks like. That's a cute little harp. There we go. And if you do come here with a large amount of notes. The cutscene should do it all at once, from what I remember. So now I'm up to 15 notes, but I still have enough to make two more instruments. As you'll see here, I didn't have to leave and come back, it just automatically put me back here and it's gonna take the next five notes and so on and so forth. The only thing that's a little annoying about this is that the game actually kind of restarts the cutscene. You know, it'll take the five notes, the sprites will talk to you. It doesn't just take, you know, 10 or 15 notes at a time and create three different instruments. So prepare to be stuck in a bit of a long cutscene if you have a lot of notes to deliver. 
But we have a little mini piano, which is adorable. So a harp and a piano, and we still have one more instrument. There's going to be a lot of instruments by the time that we're done. It's looking a little bit more lively, though. You can definitely see we've been doing our work. So let's see what the next instrument is, and then we'll be on our way to the festival. And then I'm a couple notes short of 30. I'm almost ready to come back again, actually, so I feel like I've been making some pretty good progress on these notes. And our next instrument is a violin! So I have a feeling we're going to have just about every instrument, or most of the mainstream instruments anyways. So there we have it. We have five instruments so far, and we still have quite a ways to go. Alright, so that's it. Let's leave. Alright. So it's only one o'clock, still have plenty of time to get down to the festival, and still plenty of time to do anything, if there was something that I wanted to do, but there's not really, so we're just going to head on over that way, I think. So in order to take part in this festival, you're going to need to ship a moonstone, which you can get from the cave, and they're pretty common, you should be able to find them on almost any floor. And they don't ship for that much either. I think they only ship for uh, 50 G, so it's not like you're losing a lot of money if you, you sacrifice one for the good of the festival. So I will be able to take part in this because the last video I had already explained that I had dropped a moonstone in. I made sure I did that before I forgot because I've done that before too where I've, I know I had to bring something, but then I completely forgot about it, so. Here we are. Takes place at the beach, of course. Welcome to the Firefly Festival. To commemorate our ancestors, we'll place Firefly flowers into the ocean. That sounds pretty. Alright, so let's get socializing. As you can see, now that I've started to make some friends in the village, um, all the people that are showing up are people that I have more friendship points with. So Alex and Dia and Basil and Bob I have two hearts with. So they're gonna show up before somebody like Anne or Maria or someone else that I don't really talk to would. Uh, so you'll see that develop more and more as the game goes on. Your friends will start yeah. to show up to festivals. Praying that one's ancestors are at peace can help put one's own feelings at peace too. Kind of a solemn festival. Mm -hmm. Even if I die, it might be nice if I were sent off in this fashion. I want to come and visit every year. Always makes me sad when she talks about dying, because she's actually really sick. Yeah. Or she's supposed to be. The name for the firefly flower came about because fireflies used to land in the flowers and glow. Interesting. That'd be really pretty. It seems that firefly flowers drift on small waves without sinking. They're hardier than they look. And Jamie, what do you have to say? Ah, uh, yes. She said this festival was sad and didn't like it, didn't she? I don't know. She's turned to stone. I can't talk to her. And finally, Martha. There's something deep about this festival. I wonder how our ancestors view at our event. Alright, so that's everyone. And now we'll get our cutscene of our little firefly flower. It's kind of interesting because they make you bring a moonstone, but they don't claim you put the moonstone into the flower, they claim you put fireflies into it, or that a firefly flies into it, so. Anyways, that looks very pretty. Very romantic. Now we'll culminate the festival as we watch the firefly flowers float away. Watch where you step and get home safely. And that's all there is to that one, so if you manage to go through with the festival and participate, you'll get a musical note. The Firefly Flower Note. The Firefly Festival to honor your ancestress, a solemn note floating on the night sea. That's not a romantic festival or anything, and there's not a whole lot to it, but it's kind of a nice festival. It's, it's different, and it's kind of interesting too, because in Animal Parade it has 
the exact same function. There's a couple other games with the Firefly Festival, but it's kind of nice that they've kind of kept that tradition of kind of honoring your ancestors. So I'm going to go ahead in my house here so that time freezes because I don't want it to get too, too late. And you can see now the next festival is going to be the fireworks, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, I have a week to do some more work and collect more notes, and hopefully I'll have uh, another update before the next festival. I, if I get things done, I don't always, but I kind of have a plan going on, and I think I've been doing pretty well so far. So that is going to be about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that I will see you next time.